Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to change your print ready resume to an email uh, e-resume. It's very simple. Uh, first of all, open your uh, table formatted print resume. If you put your heading into uh, your contact information into a header, let me change this view so you can see it, um, simply go up into that header, grab that table, cut it, and drop it into the main body. Now this is probably going to mean that your uh, resume is going to move to two pages. Don't worry about that. That's very um, that is not a problem when you're making a scannable uh, e-resume because these are pasted into emails and they are are pasted into um, um, a resume. Um, uh, site and those are going to always print off more than one page so it's no worries. Once you have done that then you are ready to perform this very simple procedure. Go up to file and then you want to save as and then uh, I would change the file name and I'm going to recommend that you guys use your first initial and your last name underscore e-resume for this one and then go down, this is the most important thing, you want to save as a type and instead of a Word document, drop it down and save as plain text. Plain text. And with this name as plain text you save. I had a file there already so I'm going to replace the existing file. It's going to ask me if I want a file conversion and I absolutely do take all the formatting out. Okay. Now it doesn't appear as different until you close it and then reopen it and I can see it in recents or I can go into my file and open it from here. Notice that the icon will look slightly different with a plain text file. Once it's open it looks very simple. Um, no formatting, it's lost all its white space um, and that's okay. That's what we want. So I want to go in now and the final step here is to add some formatting. I'm just going to use soft returns. That's by hitting shift and enter to put these, this information on different lines. Make sure I go after the zip. There we go. Sometimes if you get an extra space you'll want to take that out. And the phone number. There we go. Now Remember that white space is our friend in a scannable e-resume, so I want to be sure to um, set off all of my headers. I'm going to use all caps here to retype this, which makes that heading stand out. I'm going to do the same for the other headings, all caps. Give myself, give myself some space there. Work experience, all caps. and some space. And finally, honors and awards. Okay, very good. Now that's the first of the formatting changes. And let's go ahead and, and put the name in all caps too so it'll stand out. There we go. Now, once we've done that, we want to add white space in between items. Just like that. If you want, and I would recommend this, put a little more space between your sections. So there's three paragraph marks between each of the major sections. There we go. And then you want to be sure that you separate each item. Notice that uh, sometimes in the conversion, well in this case we left our colon out because we had it in a different format, so be sure that you check to make sure this is readable. And I'm adding a colon and a space there. Notice that it changed my bullets to asterisk, which are very nice. And then here I've got something going on because I lost an asterisk there. And I want to give myself a little space. Looks like I lost that. Okay, and so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add Again, the soft returns. And there's all my information. Now I'm going to add 
extra space there. Looks like I can take that one out. Let's see if it works. Very nice. So I've got oh, got the date wrong there. I need the soft return here instead of here. And there. So I've got the job, the information about it, the duties. Let's do this one the same way. Job, space, let's put a soft return there, and a space, good. Sometimes you have to play a little bit with these to get them to work correctly, but it's not that big a deal. There we go. Those are all lined up nicely. I want a paragraph there. And now I have those correctly formatted. And, oh, three, that's what I want. And then these three here. And I am done. Consistently formatted, lots of white space. Let's go back to the view so that you can see it as a single page. Very cleanly uh, formatted. Looks like I need to, uh, just looking at here, it looks like I forgot to add three spaces before education. So I want to do that so it's all consistent there. Back to one page. Lots of white space. Easy to read. Uh, easy to copy. Now all you need to do is save it. Still saving. It says some of the formatting will go. That's okay. We want to get rid of the formatting. And we are uh, ready to use this information. It uh, is saved as your e-resume. And now you can copy this directly into an email. And the formatting will not change. So very quick. Good luck. Bye.